Three companies want to build such pipelines in Iowa. And as KCRG TV Nice Nicole Agee now reports, the Iowa Renewable Fuels Association says this independent study shows those pipelines are vital to the future of ethanol production. Tax credits in the Inflation Reduction Act are what the ethanol industry calls a game changer for renewable fuels. They offer significant financial incentives to produce lower carbon biofuels and create a competitive marketplace. According to the study from economic research firm Decision Innovation Solutions, if Iowa's ethanol plants connect to pipelines, they could generate an additional $2 billion a year. Without pipelines, three quarters of Iowa's ethanol production could leave the state, taking an estimated 40% of Iowa's corn crop with it. Opponents have been vocal about safety concerns of pipelines, land use, and eminent domain. The IRFA says it hopes this study adds context to what's become a heated conversation. We want it to be an informed decision not just one that assumes you can oppose CCS on one hand and that there isn't some economic impact on the other. There will be. You may say, fine, I don't care. That's your right. But we want to make sure people know that there's going to be a huge economic impact if that's the road that Iowa decides to go down. The study says Iowa farmers stand to lose more than a billion bushels of corn each year. And the next phase of this project will look at the effect this would have on corn prices. In the studio, Nicole Agee, KCRG-TV 9 News.